I see it. What's up, brother Kwame? Great day, great day, great day, great day. Great Ujim, Ujima, my fault. Great Ujima. Man, oh man. Brother, so what I have in front of me this morning, right? I got my glasses. Thanks for sharing. I got my glasses. I got my eat like a boss plate in front of me, right? It's a square plate. And on the plate, you know what I'm saying? Uh, peace, uh, brother Negus. Great is a great Ujima, right? So I, I got my eat like a boss plate, right? And you know the, root, the rules to eating like a boss is you got to have food on there that in some form or fashion you had something to do with or you know the person that made it. So in the middle, I got a salad. All the green in the middle come from kids at my school, right? We got a little garden on the inside and they, they made all of this, right? So this, I'm taking... I'm taking eating like a boss to a whole nother level this morning. Of course, you know, the reds is uh, beets that I fermented. Then we got the cabbage that I fermented. And of course, we got an egg on there that I fermented. So, you know, I'm eating like a, I'm eating like a boss this morning. But I wanted to share the plate. And then also, I got some other stuff to share. Today, the subject um, on YouTube is going to be committed, not crazy. Right? Committed, not crazy. Because um, a lot of times, those of us that get involved with things that are not considered standard are considered um, crazy. You know, a lot of people can't see your vision. You know what I'm saying? But I want to make sure because one of the reasons I'm going through the, the whole hero format, the whole hero archetype, the archetypes, we're talking about the archetypes, is because I want people to understand that the, the heroes... Um, individuals that change the world are never walking the, the, the regular beaten path. They, they are always considered kind of um, uh, offshoots. They're, they're considered rebels at first. You know what I'm saying? At first, they're considered crazy. Um, you know what I'm saying? But the whole, the whole thing that I need people to understand is that it's about commitment. You know what I'm saying? That's what our ancestors look for, look, look to us for. Um, um, that's, you know what I'm saying? The path of the hero. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about being committed. So, you know, um, I do certain things and people, people, people think I'm crazy. Period. Have always, you know, and I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Like y'all saw me dwindle down, but now y'all see me, I got my weight back, right? Got my weight back. I'm feeling a lot better, right? You know, um, so the, the the point that I'm saying is, is about being committed. And a lot of times people who don't understand commitment, people who are scared of commitment, will view what you do as crazy, period. And you just have to learn to deal with that. And you have to learn to live with that. You know what I'm saying? Because those individuals who can't commit to themselves, let alone to their people, let alone to their ancestors, Right? Will never understand what you do, you know what I'm saying? But you, you, you know, you got to keep going. You got to keep on doing you. So let's go and do this toast real quick. Come on, let's get this water. I know you already drunk yours, brother Kwame, but I got to get my 32 ounces in. Start my day off right. Down. This is distilled water. I gotta be honest. I ran out of um, spring water. Actually, I left out in the car, and I just was too lazy to go get it this morning. Sixteen down. Let's hit the 24. Experiment with this rhodiola. The golden root. Let's see what's going on with the golden root. I got two of them. Taking them.
32. Here we go. Get them 32 ounces down. All right. Now, quick story about my kids. So, I leave my kids here with my wife um, yesterday. Usually I drop them off, drop my kids off, and, and my son go to school with me. Well, anyway, I got some bottles of ambrosia sitting on the table because I got somebody um, who's going to get some samples. So, my daughters decide to have a toasting session yesterday. And, you know, I'm just, it's kind of funny because the kids only do what they see us do. So my daughter's just toasting up with other people's ambrosia. You know what I'm saying? They get their little glasses out. I said, why y'all open, why y'all open two bottles? They said, well, we wanted to toast. So I had my bottle and Sasha had her bottle. I said, oh my God. They got their little glasses like I got. You know? So right now I got to empty these out because I got, I just remembered I got two and a half gallons of Death Eater sitting up brewing right now and I gotta pull that out. I forgot all about the Death Eater, right? So this is peach, so I gotta go and get rid of the peach. Ooh. Lord have mercy. And there's only a little bit of that. So I gotta open another one. Look at that. Look at that. Man. So, here go another peach. Y'all get ready. This is why they call it the champagne. Let me move my boss plate. I don't want it to get messed up. Let me go get me some napkins. That's why they call this June the uh, champagne of kombucha. Oh, it just blew up, man. Oh, my God. My wife is going to kill me. Oh, but that was so much fun. Wow. Speaking of which, I will little bruh Clee to be able to head, set up the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Gari celebration August 19th at 1 or 2 p.m. and possibly put things up afterwards at 5 p.m. What the hell? Was it? Hold on. What the hell was that? Oh, that was the. <laughs> I opened up another bottle of peach ambrosia, man, and it came. It jumped out the bottle, bro. It literally jumped out the bottle. Man, I love it. I love it. Oh. That's why they call it the champagne of kombucha. So I got to be careful which bottles I use. Oh my god! It, no, it was one. It, it's a. Uh, it's the mid-sized bottle with the. Uh, uh, it has like a steel top where you could seal it on and uh, seal it on and then take it off and then seal it back up. So. I got to remember not to fill those all the way up. So, man, that's a whole bottle of peach just gone. But, hey, I got it on video. And, oh, my God, that's going to be hot. I'm going I'm, I'm to make, a, a, I'm make a, a, a gift of that, man. Oh, hold on. Oh my God, dude, listen, that man, oh, that made me feel so good. I 
I'm surprised none ain't get on it. I, it looked like it almost hit the ceiling. Whew. Oh man. So you want cleave? How many? How many other young men you need? August. What is that? August nineteenth. August nineteenth. Where's it gonna be? So we got the Marcus Garvey celebration on August nineteenth. That's right before the uh, solstice. I mean, that's right before the um, the. Uh, the solar eclipse. That's right before the solar eclipse, right? Yeah, the solar eclipse is the uh, 21st. Um, so, where is the uh, Marcus Garvey Festival going to be? Talk about toasting to the ancestors, man. That was nice. I should have gone and did the whole piece before I opened that. Woo! And you know what? This ambrosia make the wood look good. I think I might, if I worst come to worst, I might be able to go and market some of it as a, as a as a polish too. Shoot! Look at that wood. That wood looking good. Alright, so I'm back. Got me sweating early in the morning. I love it. Alright. You starting to remind me of that dude who came on late Friday night who would blow up rats. We need a group of young bros at OSU Extension Center. Alright, cool. I'll work on it. Um... We'll be talking before then. So hit me up during the daytime when I'm at school so that I can uh, talk to some of my peoples and get get you a you know, get you at least maybe about three or four people to go over there and help. Um all right, so here we go. Man. First giving honor to the creator by whatever name you choose to call this creator. We call his great force into the room. We ask this energy to bless and guide us. We lift up our glasses as we do every morning to these um to to the creator uh, of the universe. And we toast and we say I say. From there we move to um, our personal ancestors. We call on those ancestors to, to, to watch over us and to guide us to be active in our lives and, and we 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 are active with them by remembering them. So we lift up our glasses to them and we will forever remember them. Um, and because we understand that the examples we set for our children are the examples that they live by. So we want our children to salute us. So we salute those that came before us. So we lift up our glass and we thank those individuals for being active in our lives and being able to take care of us when we couldn't take care of ourselves. We call on our grandmothers and our grandfathers. We call on our uncles and our aunts. We call on our brothers and our sisters. We call on our nieces and our nephews. We call on all those who made the transition before us. Right? And we remember them. Um, I go down my family line. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert Texan, Davis, Hunter Brown, Sr., Rosalie, Tilly, George, William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena. Uncle Chris, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown II, um, Alvaro Brown, um, Gina Gaines, um, John Fillard, Jamon Jones, um, Jeremiah Tappan, um, Normal X, Sapat Ma Ra, Montague Pittman L, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Tony Clark, Mark Walsh, um, Dr. Marianne Williams, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, El Elder Millie Dixon, um, uh, I 
that's about it. Did I say Dr. Mary Ann Williams? Hmm. Terrell Dunbar. Uh, Geronimo Pratt. Hmm. That's all I can think of right now. We toast and we say our shay. From there, we move on to our, um, move on to this present moment. Today is Ujima. Hold on. We got some new, some new information. Um, Kwame, can you, um, can you post up the name of that, uh, that group where I got this uh, paper from that I met you on Saturday so we can start letting people know about that because that that was a powerful piece um, and I think um, that type of stuff I want to make sure people know about um, because they added some days to the calendar well not no days but they added some new information to the calendar that I had, and I don't know, I might have left it at the school because I was studying it yesterday. Uh, I think I might have left it at the school. Um, well, anyway, today is Ujima. We uh, we salute. We will be looking for um, collective work and responsibility. All opportunities for collective work and responsibility, we'll be looking for that today. And we say, I say. From there, we move on to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. We toast them now so that one day they will toast us. And we also toast them because we remember it's all about legacy building. So we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe, last but not least, I toast you. The EEC, Emotional Emancipation Circle, is the one we had Saturday. And our PR, Ankh, was the one... For something, I thought that was divine conversations. I thought is per aunt and divine conversations separate. Yep, yeah, you owe me push ups, man. Uh, uh too late. You owe me push ups. I, I I thought that was divine conversations on um uh on um Imani. But all right, so. We lift up our glass and we say, Ashe, I toast you and all of, if you have any issues or anything that you want to toast, lift up your glass, you know what I'm saying? Post it up, we got it, all right, peace. So let's toast, we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. We wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Divine Conversations comes, comes out of what is spoken of in Pearl Aunt. Okay. All right. So we lift it up. We say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I forgot to say, bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. I ain't want to do it too loud because my daughter's here there and they might come running downstairs. So we toast and we say, Ashe, 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 and we drink. Only thing that could make this piece taste any better is some fruit. That's right. Those ambrosia fruit smoothies. tuning in Facebook and some of y'all that's come in later and check it out I appreciate you um, y'all got to see it. Uh, um, Ambrosia uh, Ambrosia Ancestral Salute man and I'm about to start my YouTube and we're going to talk about commitment being committed and not crazy alright peace family